Moving right along, the next comic, visiting us from out of state, fucking hilarious. Please put your hands together for Tony Naj. Yo, I fuck dudes till they can't walk. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Okay, so like, I smoked for the first show. It, I lost my virginity on the stage of smoking weed performing. Never did it. But I'm like, I gotta do it again for these people. But I'm so fucking high right now, okay? But we're gonna do it. Woo! <laughs> 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 where you are. <laughs> I wanna be with you, baby. <laughs> Okay, I can fucking do this. I'm like, why is everyone staring at me? <laughs> I also feel like um, smoking weed is having a friend over, but in your brain. <laughs> I'm like, hold up, you guys, someone's talking to me. <laughs> oh, it's just the weed. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I was going to tell you a story. I was gonna tell you a story, is that cool? Yeah. yeah. Okay, it begins with my grandmother dying. Oh. Sick ass story, yeah, this is fucking comedy. I'm a professional, all right, this is gonna be okay. All right, so a couple of years ago, my grandmother was dying. And like, I don't know if you guys know this, but like when people are dying, they fucking complain all the time. <laughs> so this bitch was like in a bad mood. <laughs> she was like complaining a lot. And they go to the doctors and they complain and the doctors are like, push some fucking drugs, you old hag, you know? Like, just shut the fuck up. So my grandmother is like doing tons of drugs, complaining. And she's like, I can't eat and I can't sleep. And I'm like, cause you need weed, you know? And she's like, I can't smoke marijuana cigarettes. And I'm like, all right, you can't do it with your old lungs. All right, yeah. Um, I'm like, I'll get you edibles. And she's like, you can, you can get me edibles? And I'm like, Wait, can I be my grandmother's drug dealer? I was like, fuck yeah, I'll put that on my CV. Yeah, I'm gonna be my grandmother's fucking drug dealer. So I get her these edibles and she eats them and she actually, oh wait, P.S. If you're gonna give an old person edibles, you better know your dosage, right? Oh, what's up? <laughs> you better know what you're fucking giving this old person, right? So I'm like, I'm gonna give her half a five milligram. I'm not gonna fuck her up, you know? So she ate, she slept, she felt great. And I'm like, I'm going to heaven, you know? <laughs> I'm like, I'm a fucking sick ass granddaughter. So a couple weeks later, she calls me and she's like, I need more of your magic chocolate. And I'm like, hell yeah. So I get over there and uh, my aunt is there. And my aunt is like the type of woman who like, she eats her fucking hands, okay? <laughs> Like, she's nervous. Like, she's a nervous person. Also, not nice at all. Oh, yeah, my grandmother, my grandmother's not fucking nice. No. Okay. <laughs> like, I was so scared of her growing up that I, if I was hungry, I wouldn't want to, like, ask for food because we weren't allowed to eat between meals. So I would eat fucking dog biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's how scary this bitch is, okay? <laughs> so she's like... Like milk bone, I can taste it. I, 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 I can fucking taste that shit now. Does anyone ever eat a milk bone? No. Dude, no. that it's a distinct taste. Like fucking try it. <laughs> All right, so like, she's like, give me the fucking chocolate. My aunt's like, I don't think you should give my mother drugs. And I'm like, whoa, you know, like I'm having a hard time making a decision. My grandmother's like, give me the chocolate. I'm like, she's meaner. I'm giving her the chocolate. <laughs> but because I was panicked. <laughs> Remember how I told you I gave her half a five? Yeah. It was a different brand of chocolate. I gave her a fucking 10 milligram. <laughs> and then I'm like, my aunt's freaking out. I'm like, well, we'll all take a square of chocolate. Then we'll all know what she's feeling. Cause I'm a <laughs> fucking genius, you know? So I'm like, she's not gonna feel anything. So now I just took like fucking edibles with my aunt and my grandmother, right? And I'm like, all right, this is fucking fine. Everything's fine. And then, um, my grandmother's like, I want some vodka. I'm like, that's a bad idea. Already she drank the fucking vodka. Mm. Like in that time, my aunt went and got vodka, poured got vodka, she drank it. So now this bitch is on like Klonopin, Xanax, oh. um, vodka, and then, oh, oh, what's Valium? And fucking weed, she's at goddamn Coachella. Oh, damn. <laughs> you know, I'm like, okay, like, but you know, she's a professional alcoholic, like she can hang. 
And then my grandmother um, turns to her daughter and says, I never loved your father the way I loved my first husband. She fucking said that out loud. And I'm like, that's totally in character. <laughs> I'm like, that's something she would say. I'm not worried at all. Okay, then what happened next? What happened fucking next? Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> what happened goddamn next? I'm not gonna say to you that my grandmother started masturbating in front of me. <laughs> but my fucking grandmother started masturbating in front of me. So she's like, she's masturbating and I'm here and my aunt is here and I don't know if you know this, but if a grandmother is masturbating, you look anywhere but at the grandmother who's masturbating. We were like trying to talk about sports. We're like, what do you think about the fucking Patriots? You know, like it was, it, and, and of course you want her to finish. <laughs> it's only fair, you know? So we were just, I mean like girl code, okay, like get it out. But like, holy fuck, it took a minute, all right? So then after she's done, I'm like, I gotta fucking go, you know? So I leave, I go back to my house, and I'm like, I better go see how my kid is. Oh yeah, I'm a mom. Like, I bet that fucking freaked you out, yeah? No, I'm a fucking mother, yeah. Fucking get used to it. All right, so like, I go upstairs and my daughter is playing with like her little dolls and she like turned the bed over so like the legs were up and she puts this mattress on top of the legs and then she puts her dolls on top of it and then it crumbles and it falls and then she puts the mattress in the dolls and she plays and it crumbles and it falls and then she puts the mattress in the dolls and it crumbles and I'm like, holy shit, this is a metaphor for my entire existence. <laughs> Everything I do is futile. Nobody cares but me and I keep trying to perfect something over and over and over again but it's never gonna do it because we live in a capitalist hellscape and holy fuck, I am so high right now. <laughs> and then I'm like, that means that my grandmother and mentally unstable aunt are equally not more high than me. So I'm freaking out. I call my aunt and I'm like, how's it going? And she's like, not good. And I'm like, well, what the fuck's happening? And she's like, she thinks there's chickens in the house. <laughs> and she's talking to chickens. I'm like, well, she's having a fucking great time then, isn't she? And my aunt's like, I can't believe you gave my mother drugs. And I'm like, well, you gave her the fucking vodka. We're arguing, you know? And I'm like, fuck, I gotta go up there. I gotta go fix this. So. I go back and I'm like, hey, I didn't mean to overdose us on edible weed. <laughs> I'm like, my bad. <laughs> um, and she's like, how do you know we're overdosed? And I'm like, because I am so fucking high, bitch. Like, that's why you are. <laughs> so she's like, oh, I thought I was just like losing my mind. I'm like, no, 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 this is like normal. Like, we'll feel fine in like four hours, right? <laughs> so I go upstairs, I find my grandmother and I just kind of like put her into bed and then I pet her, I like tickled her legs, I, I like massaged her feet, she fell asleep. And then I go downstairs and then me and my aunt eat a dry salad <laughs> for two hours. And then finally my aunt says, she's like, you know, like before I went on this shamanic journey of me <laughs> that I never wanted to go on, I thought I had control over my mother's death. And now I realize I have no control and I just have to let go and let it happen. Mm. And I'm like, mm, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and now um, every time I'm high and I'm masturbating, I think of my dead grandmother. <laughs> Yeah.